let's welcome. Okay, thank you very much for your introduction. Thank you very much. So, uh, I'm a, a retrovirologist and immunologist, and the, I have been interested in retroviruses since I was a uh, medical student. And so we, today I'm talking about the, uh, the story uh, of the arms race between retroviruses and the us, mammals. Okay, so uh, I don't know how many of you uh, know about retroviruses, but the retroviruses are um, the, the name retrovirus, uh, meaning that the uh, retro is going backward. And the uh, actual, the name retrovirus, meaning that the reverse transcriptase containing virus, the, the uh, retro is the abbreviation of uh, reverse transcriptase containing. So what uh, is reverse transcriptase? Um, the uh, Watson and Crick uh, stated that the, the genetic information goes only uh, this direction, uh, from DNA to RNA by transcription and from RNA to proteins, uh, polypeptide by translation. But it was found that uh, there are viruses that contain RNA as a genetic material and convert RNA, uh, RNA into DNA by the process uh, called reverse transcription. There's a special enzyme named reverse transcriptase that uses RNA as a template and produce double-stranded RNA, uh, I mean DNA. So uh, the virus, retrovirus, is very, very special because it goes against the central dogma uh, on the flow of genetic information. So this is what uh, retrovirus look like. Uh, it's a, a very small virus uh, containing uh, two copies of single-stranded RNA as a viral genome, and uh, the viral genome is covered by viral proteins, and it has an envelope uh, produced from uh, the cellular membrane of uh, previously infected cells. So it comes out from the infected cells uh, being covered by a part of cellular membrane. And the cellular membrane contains a viral protein uh, named surface protein that works uh, to bind onto the target cells to get into the cells, okay? The viral genome is about uh, eight to 10 uh, kilobase. Uh, and the, uh, it contains uh, mainly three uh, structural genes. One is GAG that produces uh, the internal proteins that covers the RNA uh, genome. And the other uh, is called uh, pore gene, uh, that is polymerase gene, and that encodes the reverse transcriptase. That is the secret of the retrovirus to replicate uh, inside the cells using the RNA conversion of the RNA into the DNA. And uh, envelope gene uh, encodes for the proteins on the surface of the virus. And the mechanism of reverse transcriptation is as follows. Uh, the viral genome is a single-stranded uh, RNA, but inside the uh, viral particle, uh, the retroviruses uh, contain not only the uh, single-stranded viral genome, but also the single-stranded RNA tRNA, uh, you know, that is fetched uh, from the infected cells. So uh, the retroviruses use uh, the uh, transfer RNA of the infected host cell as a primer to start producing DNA. So reverse transcriptase use uh, the tRNA as a primer and uh, started to uh, produce uh, DNA, single-stranded DNA of minus sense using uh, this tRNA as a primer and goes this way from five prime to three prime. So one secret of the retrovirus is uh, the presence of this uh, R sequence that is the repeat of the exactly the same sequence on the both sides of the RNA genome. When the DNA is reverse transcribed uh, into the R sequence, it jumps back uh, to the uh, three terminal end of the same sequence, R sequence, and uh, this is uh, used as the primer to pro continue producing uh, the negative strand DNA uh, to uh, this uh, uh, area that is 
or also hybridizing to the uh, tRNA. Uh, this is a prime binding sequence. And then after that, uh, this RNA chewed up uh, and uh, leaving only the small portion of the viral RNA at the second primer to produce uh, the positive strand. Uh, this portion is called polypurine tract because it contains a lot of purines in it. And uh, when the positive strand is extended uh, to the primer RNA, it produces the uh, primer binding sequence here, and this positive strand jumps again back uh, to the five prime primer binding sequence, and uh, from there, uh, positive DNA strand is extended all the way uh, down uh, to the end uh, of the uh, three prime end of the viral genome. So, uh, this process produces uh, the exact repeat uh, of the five prime uh, sequence uh, at the end, uh, three prime end of the uh, uh, positive strand DNA. And uh, this uh, repeat uh, of the same sequence, uh, the same set of sequences uh, composed of uh, uh, R sequence and uh, U5, five prime unique sequence and three prime unique sequence uh, produces uh, the exact same repeat uh, of the uh, three prime uh, U3R and five prime sequence. And uh, this sequence works uh, as a very, very strong uh, promoter uh, to express uh, the DNA sequence and transcribe it into uh, messenger RNA. And this double-stranded RNA, when uh, the virus uh, is replicating in the infected cell, uh, is integrated uh, into the host cell, gene, host cell genome. So uh, this is the life cycle of retro retroviruses. Uh, the incoming virus particle uh, first attaches on the surface, uh, the cell membrane uh, of the uh, target cells using uh, the surface protein uh, to bind uh, the cell surface molecules as a receptor. And uh, when uh, the uh, viral membrane is fused with target cell membrane, uh, the uh, mangan or magnesium uh, ion is going into inside uh, the viral particle and it switches on uh, the reverse transcriptase. And reverse tra tra transcriptase, as I told you, uh, produces uh, the double-stranded DNA from the single-stranded uh, viral RNA genome. And this double-stranded DNA is then transferred uh, into the nuclei and uh, circularized and then uh, by the function of uh, part of reverse transcriptase named integrase, uh, okay, uh, integrated into uh, the uh, DNA genome of host cell. So uh, what integrase does is uh, make a NIC uh, shortcut uh, on uh, the infected cell viral DNA and uh, insert uh, the viral DNA uh, into the chromosome. So once the Pro -bio, the viral DNA is inserted into host cell genome, little viruses can replicate in two different ways. One is infected cell, when infected cells are uh, divide, okay, uh, the infected cell uh, re replicate uh, the host cell genome itself including the integrated proviruses, okay? Uh, the integrated viral DNA is called provirus. And, and so the um, retrovirus can uh, uh, replicate uh, by hiding into the uh, infected cell genome and uh, it, it can replicate depending on uh, the dividing potential of the infected cell itself. And uh, the uh, daughter cells uh, produced from infected cells already contain uh, the proviral DNA uh, integrated into the viral genome. Uh, but as I told you, uh, the retroviral uh, uh, the DNA contains uh, long terminal repeat that contains very, very strong uh, function of uh, uh, DNA uh, transcription promoter. Okay, in the infected cell, when uh, this promoter works, uh, it produces messenger RNA. Large number of copies of messenger RNA is produced uh, from one integrated uh, viral DNA. And uh, interesting thing is, for the retroviruses, messenger RNA itself works 
uh, as viral genome. So uh, this messenger RNA, uh, of course, direct the production of viral proteins, and uh, the messenger RNA itself is uh, covered uh, with uh, produced viral proteins, and uh, the retroviruses, uh, the progeny viruses, comes out uh, from a cellular membrane. The way of uh, the uh, production of progeny viruses depends on a so-called budding. Budding means that uh, the infected cells produce virus particles uh, by, uh, uh, by pushing the virus particle out uh, from the cellular membrane. And uh, no disruption of cellular membrane occurs during the process of budding, meaning that once cells are infected with retroviruses, those cells can continue producing virus particles without being destroyed, okay? So that is why retroviruses are, are so difficult to handle, to fight against. Uh, once you are infected, for example, with HIV, you have your own cells that contains viral genome and that continue producing viruses without being destroyed. Okay. Uh, other viruses, uh, especially large DNA viruses, uh, comes out from the cells by producing large number of cellular particles inside the cytoplasm and destroy the cell membrane. So infected cells are destroyed, or most cases, uh, when uh, it releases, uh, they releases, release uh, viral particles. But in the case of retroviruses, uh, the, the budding of the virus does not affect uh, the viability of infected cells. So, uh, as I told you, uh, retroviruses contain reverse transcriptase and uh, convert uh, RNA genome into DNA and integrate it into infected cells. If this integration occurs in germ cells, like uh, cells that produce sperm or ova, okay, uh, it causes the presence uh, of the uh, viral genome in the sperm or egg, and when uh, the infected uh, sperm or uh, egg is fertilized and produce uh, the embryo, it causes that the presence of the integrated provirus in all the cells of the uh, progeny individuals, right? So it's called endogenous retroviruses. Um, so in the history of mammalian, mammalian evolution, we have been attacked by incoming retrovirus many, many times. And during the history uh, of millions of years, we had uh, experienced uh, the uh, repeated wave of retroviral attacks several times. That caused uh, the presence of endogenous retroviruses throughout our genome. So, uh, the most uh, unexpected, uh, the uh, most unexpected discovery made uh, by Human Genome Project was that up to 45% of our genome is actually filled with endogenous retroviruses that integrated into our genome from millions of years ago. And, uh, about 8% of our genome is actually uh, consists uh, of uh, LTR-containing retroviruses that can make infectious particles if it is expressed, okay? So the consequence of that is very, very severe because the retroviral integ integration disrupts the integrity of our genome. If the retrovirus is uh, you know, integrated in a functionally important uh, human gene, it disrupts that kind of functional gene and causes diseases. As a matter of fact, many of uh, known diseases of ours is associated with the germline integration uh, of the endogenous retroviruses that happened uh, millions of years ago. For example, hemophilia uh, or X-linked A gamma globulinemia or X-linked uh, SCID, uh, those severe diseases, or some breast cancers, uh, all caused by the uh, mutation, uh, disruption, or change of the expression of 
uh, our genes uh, caused by the integration of retroviruses. And of course, uh, newly infecting retroviruses can cause uh, the somatic cell mutation. Now, for example, if you infect newborn mice uh, with uh, uh, Moroni murine leukemia viruses. So Moroni murine leukemia virus uh, is a simple uh, retrovirus that can replicate uh, by the process as I told you, but the, uh, the, this virus can uh, replicate inside the infected cell and produce new virus particles, and new virus particles go into uh, different cells, as a, and as a consequence of uh, repeated infection, uh, the integration site uh, continues to increase and finally hit some gene that is associated with cell proliferation or differentiation and cause lymphoma or leukemia, okay? Uh, so the, the mechanism of induction of leukemia by retroviral infection is not because the viruses contain uh, cancer-inducing genes, okay? Some virus uh, ha actually contain uh, uh, the gene that uh, uh, induce the proliferation of cells that work as, the, for example, growth factor, that work as the molecule that inhibit immune response. But in the case of uh, retroviruses, uh, usually uh, retroviruses do not contain any uh, cancer-causing gene itself. But the integration of uh, retrovirus uh, in the uh, proximity of, for example, uh, cellular gene that induce uh, proliferation causes the increased expression of, of that particular gene and that is associated with the induction of cell proliferation or lack of, for example, uh, differentiation. That's called promoter insertion or enhancer activity can be observed. For example, the uh, retroviral LTL can not only work as promoter but also affect the expression of adjacent genes uh, by uh, showing the enhancer activity. So, this is how uh, the uh, infection of retrovirus and the uh, repeated integration uh, of retrovirus can cause lymphoma uh, in mice. This process is not necessarily deleterious. Um, it's known that um, we were actually um, using, utilizing retrovirus uh, to uh, acquire new genetic uh, ability to express our gene in different places. For example, amylase. Uh, our ancestors, uh, the uh, primate ancestors, contained only one amylase gene, but uh, this amylase gene uh, was uh, duplicated uh, throughout the evolution, and the uh, amylase gene, uh, co copy numbers of amylase gene increased uh, during primate uh, evolution, and one of them uh, contained uh, integrated retroviruses, and the en enhanced effect of integrated retrovirus, retrovirus changed the pattern of expression. So uh, uh, our ancestors uh, expressed amylase only in the pancreas, but after the integration of endogenous retroviruses, uh, our uh, recent ancestors start to uh, express amylase in a salivary gland. So, we have to thank retroviruses that we can enjoy sushi because of expressing amylase in a salivary gland. So this is an example uh, how, uh, of how retroviruses can change uh, our genetic information and the expression of uh, uh, genes uh, throughout our body. So um, to protect uh, our, the integrity of our genome from uh, repeated retroviral attack, uh, of course, uh, we have acquired ways to register against retroviruses. Uh, one, example of, uh, one example is uh, um, FB4 gene. Uh, this is, uh, oh, I'm talking about the uh, uh, mouse studies of uh, retroviral restriction factors. So one example of the gene uh, that has been acquired uh, to register against retroviral infection is, is uh, ironically, uh, the endogenous retrovirus itself. So um, endogenized, endogenized retroviral envelope gene uh, produces a protein uh, that is 
expressed on the surface of infected cells. And uh, since this is an envelope gene product, it uh, interacts with the uh, cellular receptor uh, for uh, the incoming retrovirus. So it means that this endogenous retroviral product compete uh, with the attachment of newly incoming retrovirus on the surface uh, of the uh, uh, target cells. So uh, this is one example of how we acquired uh, uh, the resistance factors against retroviral infection. Another factor uh, is a mutation of the uh, surface receptor uh, that is associated with the proliferation uh, uh, growth induction of infected cells. And another example uh, uh, is our FB1 gene uh, that is uh, uh, found uh, in uh, the United States by a researcher named uh, Frank Reedy. And the, the uh, mechanism of, of action of this gene, FE1, is re, uh, identified by a British researcher, uh, Jonathan Stoy, who is a good friend of mine. So this FE1 is also endogenous retro, retrovirus, and uh, the product of this FE1 gene uh, interferes with the transport uh, of uh, uh, reverse transcribed DNA into cellular nuclei. And, uh, APOBEX3 is also a restriction factor which uh, mammals have acquired in a long uh, period of evolution. And this is an enzyme. And uh, this enzyme uh, is, uh, 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 this, this enzyme uh, interact, uh, interferes uh, with the process of reverse trans transcription and, and the, uh, the transformation, of, I mean, uh, trans reverse transcription of RNA into DNA is, is uh, hampered in the presence of this protein APOBEX3. So among these uh, different mechanisms uh, of uh, mammalian cells, uh, that interfere with the replication of retroviruses. APOBEX3 is uh, by far the most effective, uh, and there are a lot of uh, uh, evidence uh, supporting that the, uh, during the evolution of mammals, APOBEX3 uh, has worked uh, at the uh, most uh, strongest restriction factor against retroviral infection. So uh, what is APOBEX3? Uh, APOBEX3 is uh, cited in the amylase. And uh, in the uh, first infected cells, uh, you know, the retrovirus, uh, as I told you, reverse transcribe uh, the RNA genome into DNA and integrate it uh, into the cellular uh, chromosome. Uh, and when it is expressed, uh, it produces a viral messenger RNA, which works uh, also uh, as viral genome. But in the infected cells, uh, APOBEX3 protein is also produced and it integrates into the budding viral particles. Uh, the mechanism for the integration, I mean, a uh, uh, mechanism for uh, the, uh, the carrying of the APOBEX3 gene to uh, the viral particle is uh, that uh, this APOBEX3 protein uh, interacts with the viral RNA and going into the budding viral particles along with the viral uh, RNA. And APOBEX3 works uh, not in the uh, initial infected cells, but it works uh, in the next target cells uh, through uh, this mechanism, okay? So uh, the APOBEX3 uh, goes into the next target cell uh, of infection uh, along with the viral RNA. And when uh, the uh, reverse transcriptase uh, makes uh, the DNA copy from this RNA, APOBEX3 uh, works on the first strand of DNA. Um, the viral genome is a messenger RNA, so it is a positive strand, uh, but uh, the first strand of DNA is a negative strand. So APOBEC3 is uh, cited in deaminase. Uh, it uh, deaminates uh, cytidines into uridines. And uh, as a result of, uh, of that, uh, the first negative strand uh, DNA uh, contain C2U substitution. However, as you know, uh, origins are only found in uh, RNAs, not in DNAs. So if uh, our cell find that uh, 
there's an uh, uridine uh, within a DNA. Um, it removes uh, U uh, from uh, U uh, base uh, from the uh, produced uh, DNA, and a, a basic site is produced, and a basic site uh, is a target of repair by cutting the uh, DNA strand. So it causes the destruction of uh, first, uh, first produced uh, negative strand. And at the same time, if uh, this uh, C2U substitution uh, is uh, you know, not removed by uh, the uh, DNA uh, D-glycosylase, uh, it, it, it works as it is utilized uh, at the template to produce the positive strand. And uh, U is hybridizing with A, uh, so meaning that uh, the pos positive strand DNA will contain uh, A instead of uh, the original G. So there's a uh, G2A hypermutation occurring uh, in the positive strand viral DNA. So it, it causes uh, the mutation from G to A at a very high frequency. And the uh, final G is uh, substituted to A. Uh, it causes the amino acid substitution and the protein is not functional or it causes uh, the insertion uh, of the stop codons uh, in uh, uh, the positive sequence. Uh, po uh, positive strand DNA sequence. So this is how APOBX3 works uh, to fight against the uh, retroviral infection. Um, so, uh, uh, however, uh, we are fighting not uh, with one uh, retroviral species, but also we can be infected with uh, many different species of retroviruses. And uh, there are a type of retroviruses that can uh, uh, come out from one species uh, of mammals and infect uh, different species of mammals. Uh, for example, uh, there are uh, viruses, uh, retroviruses called xenotropic viruses that is produced uh, from monkeys, but in fact, rats or cats, or uh, xenotrophic viruses can, uh, pro can be produced from uh, uh, mice or rats and in fact humans. So um, we are always uh, facing uh, the uh, infection with uh, retroviruses that are coming from different species. So because of that, uh, mammals have acquired uh, the uh, repeated copies of uh, APOBEC3. Uh, For example, uh, mice uh, have only one copy of APOBEC3 gene on the chromosome, but uh, cat has uh, rep three repeated copies of uh, uh, APOBEC3 gene, and host has uh, uh, seven copies, and humans have eight copies of APOBEC3. Uh, and and um, when we have uh, the duplicated number of APOBEX3 genes, uh, we have a room uh, to have uh, mutations in uh, uh, some of the copies uh, so that we can fight against the attack by newly incoming uh, retroviruses. So, uh, so far so good, but uh, retroviruses are also uh, evolving because uh, retroviruses has to survive by compete with uh, the, uh, the restriction mechanisms uh, expressed by uh, the target uh, animals. So, uh, and, and the worst thing is, <laughs> retroviruses are evolving much faster than uh, uh, us. So our DNA polymerase is uh, uh, strongly error prone, and our DNA polymerase makes only one mistake uh, in uh, one million base pairs. And if uh, a DNA polymerase makes a mistake, we have a repair mechanism and the excise uh, the unpaired um, um, nucleotide and make an uh, nick and the, uh, replace uh, the mistaken uh, nucleotide nucleotide was uh, the correct one. But in the case of uh, retroviruses, the reverse transcriptase is error prone, and it makes one mistake per 1,000 bases, meaning that the retroviruses uh, can mutate 1,000 times faster than us. And of course, most of the mistakes are fatal. 
uh, when uh, there's a mutation in the viral genome, it can uh, cause uh, the loss of replication uh, uh, capability. However, retroviruses are produced from infected cells very, very rapidly. If you produce 1,000 uh, viral particles, uh, if most of the mutation is fatal, still one in 1,000 uh, can be beneficial for the proliferation of retroviruses. In addition to that, uh, retroviruses can acquire host gene in, into the viral gen genome. How? As I told you, retroviruses reverse, transcri uh, reverse transcribe the viral genome into DNA. So uh, during the process of reverse transcription, if there's an uh, host cell RNA that has an, uh, some homology between uh, viral genomic DNA, the reverse transcriptase uh, can uh, uh, the, uh, produce a DNA strand, minus, strand, uh, minus a sense DNA strand uh, from the viral sequence and uh, at the point of homology can switch the lane from viral RNA to cellular messenger RNA and then uh, go back to viral RNA sequence through the process of homologous recombination. And by that way, uh, during the replication, uh, uh, retroviruses can acquire cellular gene into viral genome. So the one consequence of that uh, is, for example, beef protein uh, that is encoded by HIV. HI, uh, HIV beef uh, is a viral infectivity factor. This factor, viral inf infectivity factor, beef, is not required for the replication of HIV as a retrovirus in uh, cultured cells. As long as you are handling uh, HIV in the cultured cells, uh, the function of beef was unknown. Why HIV contain this uh, beef gene uh, while it is not uh, required for the proliferation of virus in uh, cul uh, tissue culture condition? But uh, if you infect uh, the primate uh, cells, uh, body, monkey, or uh, the uh, macaque, uh, both uh, individuals with uh, uh, SIV, HIV, retrovirus, uh, without beef, uh, those viruses do not replicate well in vivo. Why is beef required only uh, in vivo? Because uh, beef protein binds specifically with hot cell apobix 3 and, and uh, induces the ubiquitination of the hot cell apobix 3 uh, leading to the destruction of the hot cell apobix 3 so that uh, the, uh, the beef containing virus uh, can expel apobix 3 uh, from budding billions. And this process must be, of course, species, very, very species specific because the apobex 3 sequence, uh, amino acid sequence, can uh, differ uh, from one species to another. So uh, what is known is uh, human uh, apobex 3 uh, is destroyed by human uh, retroviral uh, HIV beef, and, and uh, African green monkey apobex 3 is destroyed by SIV uh, uh, African green monkey uh, AIDS virus beef, uh, and uh, macaque apobix 3 is destroyed uh, by macaque uh, AIDS virus beef. So uh, there's a very, very uh, strong species specific interaction between uh, beef and, and the host cell apobix 3G. So um, what is uh, believed uh, until about uh, 2008, uh, about that. Um, the, uh, we acquired apobix 3 uh, but uh, the viral, uh, virus is uh, more rapid in uh, uh, evolving and acquired beef uh, that uh, inactivate uh, our uh, apobix 3 And uh, by the deprecation, gene deprecation, we acquire we acquired new uh, apobex 3 family protein, but at, the, at that time, uh, the virus, retrovirus acquired uh, the uh, new, new beef protein uh, that neutralized the uh, uh, 
restricting activity of the uh, newly acquired ApoBix3. And so we acquired a new uh, copy of ApoBix3, but the, the virus uh, emerges with uh, the uh, mutated uh, beef. So that uh, many people, many researchers uh, were believing that uh, we were uh, losing uh, this fight against the retroviruses, and the currently uh, disease-causing retroviruses, HIV, uh, is uh, you know resistant against the, uh, our uh, restriction mechanisms. But we found this to be incorrect in the case of mice. Okay, so uh, by using a friend mouse retrovirus, uh, we were analyzing uh, the host factors that uh, works to restrict the replication of retroviruses and uh, restrict their disease-causing processes. So what is friend retroviruses? Uh, friend retrovirus. Uh, it, it sounds like very friendly virus, but it's found by an American researcher named Charlotte Friend, and it is actually a very, very nasty virus. And <laughs> When infected with uh, this friend virus, uh, it causes uh, the enormous uh, expansion of the spleen uh, cells. And in the spleen, uh, the uh, red cell, red blood cell producing uh, progenitor cells, uh, erythroid progenitor cells are ex expanding uh, very rapidly, causing uh, the uh, 20, 50 times uh, enlargement uh, of the spleen. And uh, infected mice uh, can die within uh, two months uh, by uh, showing uh, the enormous infiltration of uh, erythroid leukemia cells, not only in the spleen, but into the liver and the brain. So how this virus causes the disease? Of course, friend virus is a retrovirus, but uh, friend virus uh, is a, a complex of two different viruses. Uh, one is a uh, usual uh, retrovirus uh, that contains uh, the RNA genome and uh, all the structural proteins, as I told you, uh, the core uh, producing GAG and reverse transcriptase encoding PO and the envelope gene. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the other component of the friend virus is a so-called spleen focus forming virus, and it is defective. It does not contain uh, all the structural genes, but it contains a uh, defective envelope gene, uh, the product of which is expressed on the surface uh, of the infected cells and interacts with erythropoietin receptor and, and causes uh, the proliferation and differentiation of infected cells uh, into uh, erythrocyte, uh, red blood cells. And uh, this protein GP55 encoded by the spring focus forming virus M gene is also interacting with uh, the uh, tyrosine kinase type receptor expressed on the uh, hematopoietic cells, and it causes uh, the rapid growth of hematopoietic cells. So what happens is when infected with friend virus, uh, the erythroid cells are proliferating very rapidly uh, due to uh, the uh, stimulation of, through the erythropoietin receptor and this hematopoietic cell specific uh, tyrosine kinase. And uh, proliferating cells are reinfected by uh, friend virus, uh, either SFFV component or friend uh, helper virus, uh, the replication competent component, and the uh, repeated integration finally causes uh, the uh, expression of a P1 gene that is a key molecule uh, in regulating the differentiation of hematopoietic cells. So growing uh, proliferating hematopoietic cells stop differentiating uh, due to uh, the uh, induced uh, high expression of P1. And finally causes leukemia like this. But not all strains of mice are susceptible to friend virus infection. Uh, some mice are resistant. For example, B6 mice, black 6 mice, uh, are very, very resistant to friend virus infection because uh, it has, uh, the, the B6 mice had, have a mutation, have a mutation in uh, uh, this uh, tyrosine kinase 
uh, gene product, and uh, the growth induction signal is not well transduced into uh, the infected cells. So uh, B6 mice are believed to be very, very resistant to friend virus infection. Now, as a matter of fact, uh, what B6 mice do not develop um, any fatal disease uh, after infection with the friend virus complex, while, uh, as, I sh uh, as I have shown, uh, the susceptible strains of mice uh, are dying very rapidly after infection. Uh, however, uh, if CD4 T, T cells are depleted uh, from otherwise resistant uh, B6 mice, they start to develop uh, the uh, disease and showing the enormous big size of the spleen. Uh, when the B cells are depleted, however, uh, there was no disease development. And, and it means that uh, the B6 mice are resistant to friend virus infection due to the immune responses mediated by CD4 T cells. So uh, we have identified several different genes that control immune responses to uh, friend virus infection in the B6 mice, and we mapped them into the different uh, uh, chromosomal segment, and the, many of them are, of course, located within uh, uh, MHC. Uh, in the case of mice, it's H2, and the, uh, those genes are controlling, as uh, I show here, uh, T helper cell responses, or NK cell responses, or cytotoxic T cell responses. However, there's a gene named R RFV3 that is not located in the MHC area, meaning that it is not controlling T cell responses, but interestingly, it uh, controls controls the responses, antibody responses, uh, to uh, friend virus infection. And that gene is uh, mapped in the chromosome 15. And uh, all other genes uh, are identified, molecularly identified, and their mechanisms of action uh, have been uh, clearly shown. But uh, this gene, RFV3, uh, had been uh, I unidentified of the, uh, their, uh, its, its mode of action. So what we found uh, was, this is what we did a uh, long time ago. Uh, in uh, uh, resistant uh, strains of mice like B6, uh, when they are infected with uh, uh, friend virus, they rapidly produce neutralizing antibodies. This uh, is uh, the title of neutralizing antibodies, okay? However, the susceptible strain like uh, AJ or AWISN uh, do not uh, rapidly produce neutralizing antibodies. They cannot produce neutralizing antibodies until three weeks after infection. So uh, we crossed uh, this uh, antibody producing strain uh, with a non producing strain. Uh, a is non producing strain, and uh, B10 or B6 is producing strain, and found that the F1, F1 progeny can produce antibody rapidly, meaning that uh, there's uh, no one autosomal gene uh, that is controlling the production of the neutralizing antibodies. So we back cross, this is a very, very classic Mendelian uh, uh, genetics, okay? You know that? Uh, so um, this is uh, the recessive strain A that cannot produce neutralizing antibodies. Uh, here's, since uh, the production of neutralizing antibody is a dominant trait, uh, F1 mice, uh, the uh, producer strain and non producer strain uh, F1, uh, can produce neutralizing antibodies. And when we back cross, them to non-producer strain, half of them uh, produce neutralizing antibodies uh, at two weeks after infection, but half of them did not produce neutralizing antibody. So uh, we did all genetic analysis and found that uh, when uh, uh, the, the uh, back cross mice possessed uh, B10 or B6 derived uh, the genetic marker, uh, in a chromosome 15, uh, they produce neutralizing antibodies. If, if they lack uh, the uh, B, B10 or B6 derived uh, genetic trait uh, at this location in chromosome 15, uh, they do not produce. Okay? So, this is a classic genetic mapping experiment, and we uh, finally. Uh, narrowed down uh, the area of the chromosome which 
uh, harbor the neutralizing antibody controlling, uh, controlling gene into this short uh, segment of chromosome 15. And in the center of that uh, candidate area, we found APOBEC3. And uh, we actually found that mouse APOBEC3 gene is very, very polymorphic and uh, differs its expression levels and amino acid sequences between susceptible and resistant strains. So here, resistant strain uh, express higher level uh, of APOBEX3 comparing to the susceptible strains. And uh, there's an amino acid substitutions between uh, the resistant uh, APOBEX3 and susceptible APOBEX3. And interestingly, uh, the resistant uh, APOBEX3 lacks uh, this area. Uh, this is caused, uh, this is encoded by exon 5. Okay? So, uh, there are several differences uh, between uh, the uh, product of uh, APOBEX3 uh, encoded by resistant allele and, and susceptible allele. One is higher expression level uh, induced by the presence uh, of the resistant APOBEX3 allele, and uh, there are amino acid substitutions, and there are uh, there's a differences between uh, the presence or absence of exon 5. So which of these are actually associated with uh, the observed suscept uh, I mean susceptibility or resistance uh, to uh, friend retrovirus infection? So what we did uh, was to produce knockout mice, uh, of course. And uh, when APOBEX3 is uh, knocked out uh, from otherwise resistant B6 strain, uh, the uh, knockout mice uh, showed more than 100 times higher viral replication. This is uh, the log scale, okay? So more than 100 times higher uh, viral replication, both in the spleen and bone marrow. And uh, this uh, activity uh, of the uh, B6-derived uh, APOBEX3 uh, allele cannot be substituted by the susceptible allele. Here, the knockout mice are crossed with the susceptible strain, uh, bar C, and, and uh, the, uh, when uh, the resistant allele is lacking, even in the presence of susceptible allele, uh, we observed 100 times higher uh, replication level of the retrovirus, friend retrovirus, and it is associated with uh, the development of much severer diseases, uh, as you can see here, the number of infected cells uh, much increased, and because of the induction of erythroid cell proliferation, uh, we observed a higher hematocrit uh, level in the peripheral blood. Uh, and the Higher expression level, uh, as you can see here, of the resistant strain is very interestingly associated with the presence of endogenous retrovirus. In resistant B6 strain, there's an insertion of endogenous retroviruses, uh, endogenous retrovirus uh, within the intron between the second and third axon. This is very interesting, isn't it? The uh, target of the restriction itself, when it is uh, inserted into the resistance-associated gene, it causes higher expression of the resistant-associated molecule and induced, uh, induces uh, the uh, restriction uh, against the retroviral infection. So ironically, uh, the ancient retroviral infection into uh, B6 strain caused the higher expression of restriction molecule. So we are utilizing our enemies uh, as uh, our allies to fight against retroviruses. This is a very interesting example. Uh, Another thing that is associated with uh, the difference between the B6 type and the barb C type are you, is uh, the presence of, or absence of exon 5. So uh, uh, this is a little bit uh, uh, complicated slide, but what I'm showing here uh, is uh, the uh, product 
uh, of resistant array that, that lacks exon 5 is more stable as a protein than uh, the uh, exon 5 containing susceptible, uh, the product of exon 5 containing susceptible RU. So, uh, as you can see here, um, f the uh, exon 5 lacking the resistant as associated protein is produced uh, much earlier than uh, the exon 5 containing product, a and the, uh, the level of expression uh, is much higher. Uh, comparing to uh, 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 the level of expression of resistant protein is much higher than that uh, of the susceptible susceptibility associated protein. And this is uh, caused uh, by uh, more efficient translation of exon 5 lacking uh, messenger RNA uh, because uh, when uh, the messenger RNA contains exon 5, it, it causes more uh, uh, more stable, uh, higher order structure of the messenger RNA. It impedes uh, the translation of messenger RNA uh, into the protein. And, and um, we uh, wanted to ident uh, we wanted to understand why why uh, the the product of uh, uh, the uh, resistant array uh, is expressed higher. I mean, uh, uh, why uh, the uh, resistant RU uh, does not include uh, the exon 5 uh, into its, its messenger RNA. Uh, to do that, uh, this is a very um, a professional experiment, but we did an in vitro uh, splicing, uh, in vitro translation of cloned DNA into messenger RNA, and uh, we made uh, chimeras between resistant associated and susceptibility associated allele uh, and express them uh, in vitro and uh, let them transcribe messenger RNA. And uh, to make the long story short, uh, our conclusion uh, was that uh, one, um, the uh, single nucleotide substitution uh, observed within exon 5 is responsible for the presence or absence of exon 5. For example, here, um, if we have uh, uh, the uh, substitution of G to C at position 88 of uh, the resistance RU, it induces the inclusion of exon 5. So, Let's go further. Uh, so we wanted to uh, know why, how uh, the resistant uh, strain B6 or B10 acquired uh, this resistant associated genetic trait. Okay, so we have susceptible strains of mice, laboratory animals, and resistant strains of animals. And we know that, now we know that, uh, only one single nucleotide substitution is responsible uh, for uh, the uh, inclusion or exclusion of exon 5. When exon 5 is included, uh, the protein translation is inefficient. When uh, the gene does not include exon 5 into the messenger RNA, higher level of protein is produced. And what we were expecting was that, OK, um, ancient mice are all susceptible to retrovirus infection. And uh, the ancestors of currently resistant strain like B6 uh, by chance acquired this single nucleotide substitution and produced, started to produce large amount of restriction of protein. So uh, to uh, test that, uh, we sequenced all different wild uh, mice. Okay, so there are many different species of mice uh, that can uh, be analyzed uh, for genetic analysis uh, by uh, catching them in, in the field. A and we compared uh, the uh, APOVEC3 sequence of uh, many different species of uh, mus uh, genera. And what we found was unexpectedly ancient ancestors uh, of, uh, uh, this is a phylogenetic tree, and what we found was ancient ancestors of current mice uh, were all possessing this high expression associated genotype, okay? They all had this G here instead of uh, uh, susceptibility associated C. So, ancestors of mice 
were expressing larger amount of resistant factor. And somehow, some ancestors uh, of current susceptible strain acquired genetic change that caused lower amount of resistant factor expression. And as a matter of fact, this exon 5 that is associated with lower amount of protein expression is actually dispensable. And uh, many uh, wild species of mice, including rats, have a um, frame shift mutation, a deletion of one nucleotide or addition of one nucleotide that causes uh, the uh, frame shift, uh, the shift of the reading codon, and uh, that causes, uh, eventually causes the, the presence of stop, stop codon in, within the coding sequence. So um, for ancestral mice, APOBX3 uh, was uh, you know, uh, very, very important, and they, uh, they uh, expressed large amount of the resistant factor protein, but somehow uh, some ancestors of current uh, susceptible strain acquire genetic change to include, to include exon 5 that causes lower amount protein expression. This is very, very unusual. How did it happen? It's known that uh, the ancestors of mice, current mice, uh, are born in uh, Indian subcontinent. And uh, those ancestral species of mice migrated uh, into Eurasian uh, continent in uh, two, taking two different uh, paths, two different routes. Uh, one route uh, is uh, through the eastern coast uh, of Caspian Sea and going up to the Siberian area and uh, they distributed in uh, the, uh, no northern Europe. Uh, the other route is going uh, through uh, the uh, Arabian area and uh, goes through the Mediterranean and uh, they distributed to uh, southern Europe. Okay, so uh, what we found was uh, ancestral species of mice uh, expressed a large amount of apobic 3 protein, as you can see here, uh, and uh, they kept uh, that ability through the migration uh, to the nose uh, going through the east coast of the Caspian Sea. And during that process, they acquired uh, endogenous retrovirus. Okay, and the presence acquisition of the endogenous retroviral LTR within the APOBEC3 gene induced much higher transcription and of uh, the already efficiently transcribed uh, messenger RNA. So uh, this acquisition of LTR, uh, endogenous retrovirus, caused uh, the expression of uh, restriction factor protein much higher on the other hand, some of the ancestral species somehow acquired genetic change that caused less efficient translation of messenger RNA into the protein and very small amount of protein expression. So why this kind of an, uh, seemingly, uh, seemingly meaningless, seemingly uh, deleterious uh, genetic change was acquired during the, this migration. Okay? So here's the secret. Um, as I told you, uh, we were uh, attacked by retroviruses coming uh, from different species. And it's known that uh, xenotropic viruses uh, came uh, from uh, the primates and cats into mice. And uh, when we uh, tested the presence uh, of endogenized XMV, is xenotropic virus, okay? Endogenized, endogenized xenotropic virus, what we found was those migrated through the east coast of Caspian Sea contains large number, large copy numbers of xenotropic virus. So ancient xenotropic virus infection caused uh, the preservation of the highly expressed uh, apobex 3 they, they needed 
this highly expressing trait to fight against repeated attack by xenotropic virus. And uh, in one of the integrated xenotropic virus caused even higher expression of this resistance factor. On the other hand, as you can see here, okay, mice migrated through the Mediterranean coast do not have endogenous xenotropic virus. So they, are not at, they were not attacked by xenotropic viruses. Therefore, they didn't have to keep the high expression of this restriction factor. But what was the advantage of reducing the expression of ApoBex3? It's known that when ApoBex3 expressed in a higher amount, it can cause uh, the relocation of the presence of ApoBex3 into nuclei. So it can cause the mutation of the cellular DNA itself. And it is already known that uh, some human cancers, like breast cancer or uterine cervical cancers, are associated uh, with the clusters of mutation that is seemingly caused that are seemingly caused by ApoBex3 function. So one hypothesis is uh, the mice that migrated through the Mediterranean coast were not attacked by xenotropic viruses. And uh, because of that, uh, they wanted to preserve their genome by reducing the expression of uh, otherwise possibly deleterious uh, DNA mutator, ApoBex3. But um, these strains, I mean, ancestors of currently uh, resistant strains, uh, had to keep the high expression of uh, ApoBex3 because they uh, were continuously attacked by xenotropic viruses. How? Yes. Time? Okay. Okay, okay. So uh, I go to the conclusion. Okay. So uh, mouse ApoBex3 is physiologically functioning. This is what we f uh, showed first. A and the, uh, it's capable of restricting retroviruses. A and mouse ApoBex3 is polymorphic and resistant strain express higher levels of messenger RNA. A and uh, the higher level of expression is caused by endogenization of the enemy, okay? And mouse ApoBex3 uh, exon 5, uh, if it is included, uh, it interferes with the transcription and results in uh, the lower protein expression. And uh, I didn't have time to talk about humans, but the, uh, the similar thing is known in, among humans, and the uh, humans uh, uh, stopped uh, expressing high levels of one of the uh, copies of ApoBex3. And in mice, uh, presumable selective selective pressure uh, for, for functional uh, exon 5 wrapping uh, lacking ApoBex3 would be xenotropic virus uh, that are coming from other species to him, into mice. So uh, thank you very much. And the I thank uh, uh, grant support from a uh, Japanese government and my university. And this is my laboratory members. And this is uh, when uh, Virginia visited our laboratory. OK, thank you very much. <laughs>